Hey guys, it's Icy New Year, um, back with another Better Than Icy. Where we left off last time, we were working on the windmill. Uh, I've expanded that a little bit. You can see I have six complete um, millstones down there, all running off this guy. Uh, I'll show that off in a moment. I added the on-off switch down in that little groove there. But I realized I forgot to show off one of the coolest things about the windmill. You can... Oh, I had it close enough. Oh dye the blades any color you want and they can be dyed individually uh now i messed that up completely so yeah but i'll fix that later i'll have them alternating the two types of blue um actually let's go get another bit of lapis and fix that right now um on today i think we're going to do a little bit of home improvement i might work on a new pen for the cows because while i'm recording they get way too loud and I'm probably going to make my stewing pot little, look a little bit nicer than literally a hole in the ground. Oh. Let me show you how all this works now, because it looks like my hemp is starting to grow in. Which is fantastic. Because no matter what, hemp is always good to have, no matter what stage you are. Because you you're going to continue to need to make uh, new axles and such to expand your power grid. Oh, some more seeds, let's just plant these. I'm gonna plant these in this part I've already fer uh, fertilized. So we will see how fast that grows in. I got a little more bone meal as well. Um, so I as well toss it out to fertilize. And just as I slay skeletons, I've been making some bone meal. And you do have to grind the bones up in a mill. I think I did that off camera. But for those of you playing along you know, if you're like, what, what, why the hell can't I make bone meal? That, that's why. Uh, bones do have to be ground up in a mill to make bone meal out of them. So let's get back over here and do the obviously important part of dyeing these correctly. I mean, seriously. Ugh. I'm very soon we're going to add a collection system up into this so that it is a more automated system. I don't know what I just managed to do. You know what? I'll fight with that later. I think it's having trouble detecting which blade I'm putting it on, etc, etc. But what we're going to do is, I have little ports here. And I'm going to put a bit of hemp in each of these. Just spread it out a little bit. Um, I've been keeping this machine off for two reasons. First, it's loud as hell. And second, you know, if it starts raining, I don't want everything to break. So we're going to put that in there, and then flip the switch, and what this switch is doing is just real simple. It's redstone torches that turns this torch off, which allows the power to go through. And I do like designing all this in such a way that I can easily kind of get to everything. I don't know. I don't know why it's acting up on this. Uh, I'll fight with that whole thing later, but whatever. Uh, until then, let's just go back down, and we're going to collect our hemp. And right now it all just spits out right here in the front, which makes life easy. Um, we don't have to go searching for it. The only thing I'm concerned about is this one right here might spit it up on this little corridor here. But that's something that we can actually just breaking those two should take care of that. That should be fine. The worst that's going to happen is a couple bits will be up on that, that section. And we can easily just walk around and pick that up. Um, but yeah, and the next step will be to dig a small trench, um, and start putting it automatedly into a collection system. I'm going to turn this off. That way we can just toss stuff in there, leave, it'll come back, and all be collected for us. We don't have to stand here and wait for it. Though I gotta say, this is a hell of a lot faster than grinding all that stuff by hand. And it doesn't absolutely kill our hunger. Look at that over a stack and a half. But these cows have to move. I'm thinking about digging something into one of these hills. I'm not sure. I'll probably poke around for a bit, see what I can find, um, and be back with that. I'm also going to kill off some of the cows and then breed some more. Because we are going to have to start breeding our dogs up. We want a ton of these guys so they can be producing a lot of dung for us. But yeah, it's turning night. Uh, I'm going to go run, sleep, and... Um, I'm going to poke around, find a place to put my cows and all that jazz, and I will be back. Okay, guys. Now, 
I said we we're going to do some home improvement today, and we might get to that, but, um, decided I wanted to work on something to really start stepping towards our next tier, and so what I'm going to do, and start working on our next piece of machinery, I'm going to take three pieces of leather, put them in each of those guys, we're going to make ourselves some scoured leather, and basically what that does is it just rubs all the guts and blood off of those so that they're clean leather and we can use them for other things. Um, now these here are really just because I was, ah, uh, never mind. I was having bits of uh, stuff occasionally pop up on the edges there and I was hoping that the trapdoors there would stop that from popping up but apparently I'm completely wrong. So we'll have to try something else. Um, I might end up just putting doors there. I think that'll fix it. One thing you're going to notice in all of Better Than Wolves is it's abs absurdly freaking loud. Um, you're constantly going to have to deal with incredibly loud noises. So, you know, that'll get you to start building stuff way away from your main home. <laughs> we're going to go to our stewing pot, and I'm finally going to show you what we do with this dung that we've been collecting. I've got four bits of it. We're going to cook it together with our scoured leather. And we're going to make something that's vital to moving on to the next step. We're making some tanned leather. Now the tanned leather, um, I only need one piece for now. We need to make into straps, leather straps. And these straps, our first use for them is making a belt. Um... I need that wood, I need a bit of iron. And I did a little bit more mining off camera. I found some more diamonds, so we're pretty comfortable on those. And I found, I need those sticks, um, a couple more emeralds. At some point, we should probably go look for a village. Just to, uh, yeah, see what we can find and maybe see if we can find any good trades. Um, but we're going to make our next piece of technology here. Which is amazing. This piece opens up a lot of doors for us. It is the saw. Now a saw, you know, like every other major mechanical thing, requires mechanical energy. And until we get a second source of energy set up, I'm just going to set it on the side of this. Uh, I'm going to go work on that setup, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys. And I've got the saw set up here. Really simple setup. I just took out one of my... Uh, millstones, extended it down to another gearbox, and then put it out here. I decided I actually really like these. I think it really adds to the look of it. So I'm going to keep them there, even though they don't, you know, fulfill their their intended purpose at all. But what the saw does is make our life a million times easier. Uh, and it unlocks a lot of different things we can do here. If we put a block in front of here, it's going to cut it up, and we now have siding. Um, and then if we're going we're to go ahead and make a couple more of these sidings. A lot of the basic recipes have been changed so that they can use the sidings as high efficiency re recipes. Um, and we're also going to get some of these corners. And this corner and these sidings are going to let us... There we go, molding. Make the next piece we need. Now these guys can be placed just as like decoration pieces. You can place them on the edges. Uh, anyone that's used red power, it's kind of like that. Um, but right now what we're worried about is using these for a much more constructive purpose. We just need to make ourselves a couple more uh, gears. And we're going to need a wooden pressure plate. And I will show you our next major step. I'm going to put this corner down here. And the corner is made by basically sawing twice. Uh, the siding there. And the gears there. And that makes us a hopper. Uh, and now the hopper is amazing. Uh, I don't have a shovel. So I'm going to go make a shovel real quick before we do this. The hopper is, gonna, is what's going to let us automate our collection. Um, they would kept talking kind of obsessively about having a system for this to all flow down into the water here. And that's exactly what we're going to do here uh, with this hopper. 
we're gonna do is uh, let me figure out how we're gonna do this exactly. Um, I think we should be able to dig out here, and that should push us all to the side. I think. Let me check this water flow. Yep, it's gonna push it all down to this side. So for now, we're just gonna block this off so we can work in here and there we go what you want to do is put the hopper where the water can flow into it um, we're gonna have to dig out down under there to get a nice collection system but until then there we go everything's gonna flow down to the hopper and you can see it all collected here you can put different filters in the hopper we'll get into those later because we'll need them for various things but for now, we're just going to dig out a room underneath the hopper so we can add a collection system. And I'll be back once we have that all taken care of. Okay, guys. So what we've done is put an area down here where we can easily get access to the hopper so we can empty it out. Uh, our next step is twofold. We're going to put a signal lamp because the hopper will emit a redstone signal uh, I gotta get up there. when it's full. So we want to put a signal lamp up here. I'm going to mark that so I know where I'm working. We're going to put a signal lamp up here. That way it's very, very easy for us to tell when our hopper's full and we need to come empty it. Um, and then we are going to make a trap door for this bit here. And we're going to put it up one higher. Uh, actually, I guess I know it need it two higher if I want it to be like different looking. Okay, I'm going to need more of those bricks. Um, but what we're going to do <clears throat> is come over here to the saw. We're going to chop off a few of these guys. Oh, and I just realized my sound's off. Let me fix that, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Turn on this whole contraption. We're going to cut ourselves down a few more of these sidings here. Now this saw, like as you can see, it once it gets going, it really gets going. Uh, and I may eventually, once mechanical power is a bit easier and we get into making water wheels, I may move a tree farm next to a river. And I can have it just automatically chop down the trees as they pop up. Um, we could have a completely automated tree farm that way, which would be fantastic. But we need these. As you can see, I added another furnace here. I do believe I'm going to make a huge basement level for this um, soon. And sorry about that thumping. My dog has decided to uh, thump. What I just did there is one of the high efficiency designs. You can use spruce siding to make things like uh, doors and trap doors, so it uses half as much. Uh, wood. Um, oops. I put that bit on the wrong side there. Just grab that back. How do I do this? Is it... I thought I just aimed at the top half. I guess that's uh, 1.4? I can't remember if that's a 1.3 or a 1.4 thing. I don't know. We're gonna bring this up one more. Um... Oh, I guess we can't go too much higher. I'm going to have my dog leave real quick, because that's getting absurdly loud. Sorry about that, guys. That should turn off. Yeah, we got that kind of stopping us from going too much higher. Yeah, we can't go any higher than that. Let's bring this whole thing down a little bit. I forgot about the blades on that guy and how high it went up. So what we'll do is bring this down. We're just going to put the signal lamp right here on top of this. And I just made a redstone lamp for that. Boink. So now when this hopper gets full, which I'm going to throw a bunch of my crap. I don't know if I have enough stuff on me to fill that up. We'll see. Let's see if we can fill up my... Uh... You can hear that hopper picking it all up there. I don't think I have enough stuff. Let me check down here. 
Uh, actually, yeah, it should be full. It should emit this signal here. I feel like I messed this up. Okay, so that test was entirely unsuccessful. Yep, there we go. It's now full, which will turn on our signal lamp there. Um, real simple. Easy way to, you know, just at a glance know if that thing's full. That way we don't have to worry about... You can see it turns it off. We don't have to worry about um, emptying it out every time. We can just, you know, do our stuff, and if we don't need it right away, we can just leave it down there until it's good to go. Later on, what we can do is actually add a chest under here and run mechanical power into it and it will dispense it into the chest or even a chest uh, cart. Um, and the way you can get an even more automated system. I should... Okay, that guy's all. I do want to... Ah, oh, I didn't... Cut my way out of here. <laughs> it's funny. Exactly what I was about to stop. We need to stop ourselves from being able to fall in this hole. Um, hmm. How do I have this wired? Nope. Let me see. You know what might work here? Actually, let's just make a bunch of trapdoors. We can smack trapdoors here. That way we can walk on it. And easily get where we need to go. So, let's chop up a bit more of this. Oh, forgot to turn the whole system on. And we can still get to the on-off switch. Got some of these donuts. As you can see there, um, we get four wood and sawdust when we chop logs. And the sawdust is something we can use for later things. So we'll go ahead and chop these up. Heck, I'd say it's almost faster than crafting. But something you do have to be careful about is that saw blade will cut the crap out of you. Um, it doesn't destroy drops, though. So you can actually use saw blades for pretty efficient mob farms without the worry of losing the drops uh, to whatever system you're using. Which, we do have a zombie spawner, I think, over there. So that's something we can use the saw blades for uh, later. But we're going to trapdoor this up. Um, and I think the other thing we're going to work on today is bringing our hibachi up. But I'll be back with you guys, and yeah. Okay, guys. Finish this up here. Just put some trapdoors along this area here. And I went ahead and put ladders on both sides here, so it's easier to get in and out of that. Um, down here is still the same. I just moved the trapdoor up to the top, so, oh, got caught on it. But I think the last thing we're going to do in this episode is a little bit of preparation for next episode. Um, as you can see, my humble little house is getting a little cramped on storage space, so I mentioned we're going to be digging out a basement. Um, and I thought about it, and I think I'm going to move the cows into the basement. Uh, but to make our lives easy there, what we're going to do is do it in the coolest, better than wolves way possible. So we're going to make a couple of the devices we need for that now. Starting out with this guy. We're just going to take, and this can be done with full blocks as well. It's just, oops. How do I do that? It's like that? Um, why can't I remember this? Uh, oh, oh yeah, these need to be uh, smaller. Let's go take care of that. I'm going to chop these guys up. I love using the saw. I'll look for any excuse to use a saw. <laughs> um, pretty soon, I cannot wait to set up the automated tree farm. That's going to be amazing. Once this guy all starts running up. And chop these up. I just love that these can be made with um, full full wood planks or with the siding. Oh, I'm sorry, moldings, which are essentially a quarter of a plank. So I mean, every time I'm using one of these moldings, I'm saving you know a full quarter of a bit of wood. Okay, so we're gonna put those there. These on top and bottom. We're gonna make ourselves a platform. Um. Now this does take three different main parts, 
Uh, and we're going to have to use some tricky redstone to make this all work, but it's going to be amazing. Uh, these in the corners. Uh, where are you? Gears. Iron and redstone. And we're going to make a pulley. And the last bit we need to make today before we're going to be done is an anchor. Now what these three things together with some rope and some clever redstoning will do is we are going to make an elevator. So next episode we'll be digging out a basement, multi-leveled, and we're going to put an elevator in part of the house, probably one of the corners, I don't know, we'll figure out exactly where it'll go. So we can go up and down with the cows on one of the levels. We'll have a storage level. It's going to be amazing. So yeah, that's what we have in, plan for, in stock for next time. Until then, I'm going to put these in here. As you can see, my storage is just getting ridiculous. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed. Um, it'd be awesome if you could use leave a like or a com and a comment. Um, if you really enjoyed it, give it a favorite or a share. It really helps me out, guys. Um, but thank you much, and I'll see you all next time. It doesn't matter who you are. Male, female, black, white, gay, straight. If you want to have a good life, grow a beard.